So we all know that I love blowing up planet Earth. Well, in, in video games, not in real life. If I did that in real life, I'd probably go to jail. Although if I blew up planet Earth, would jail even exist? What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Universe Sandbox. I played this last week. Basically, it's Solar Smash, but even better. So last week, I blew up planet Earth. I made the Earth bigger than the sun. If you guys want to see more of this game, don't forget to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Okay, let's jump right in. So you guys were telling me that if I go to add... And if I go to this button, there's a bunch of different things that I can throw at planet Earth. And I think I saw this last time. Yeah, I tried to throw a basketball, but it didn't really work. I could throw a pumpkin. I could throw a jack-o-lantern. I, th I could throw a Tesla. Okay, by the end of this video, I am going to throw a Tesla at planet Earth. And you guys were also telling me if I go to launch and I scroll down, there it is, launch velocity. Okay, so I can throw a Tesla at planet Earth at the speed of light. Okay, I don't know if anyone's gonna survive that, but we're gonna come back to that. First things first, another thing you guys were telling me in the comments, if I go here, I can slow down the planet so it doesn't rotate, and I just wanna see what happens. So let's go 23 hours. You know what? Let's make that, um, let's make that years, and then we're gonna make that 1,000 years. There we go. So the Earth basically doesn't rotate. It rotates one time every thousand years. Let's zoom out. Let's make this thing go fast. And let's see what happens to planet Earth. I feel like something bad is going to happen to planet Earth. A few moments later. I created an ice age in Africa. Oh, that could be bad. Oh, that could be really bad. How's the United States doing right now? Wait, let me speed this up a little bit more. How's the United States? The United States is in an ice age. The United States is completely frozen. Look at this. I live right here in Pennsylvania, right about here in the middle of the state. It's frozen. I mean, it's October right now, and it's, I don't know, let me check my phone. 61 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not that bad. It's negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit here. Half of the Earth is in an ice age, and the other half is extremely hot. So there's no way anyone would survive. What's the likelihood of survival? If I go down here, 7%. So if there's like 10 billion people in the world, we're down to like, I don't know, what's 7% of 10 billion? Is that like 700 million or 70 million? I don't know. There's not a lot of people left in the world. Honestly, the way 2020 is going, this probably will happen. Ah, back to our beautiful planet rotating in a normal matter. Let's do something terrible like... Get rid of the oceans and see what happens. So let's click here. Let's click here. Uh, what's the best way we can get rid of the oceans on the planet? What if we just raise the surface temperature? So right now, the average surface temperature is 13.5 degrees Celsius. Let's switch this to Fahrenheit because I understand Fahrenheit a little bit better. And you know what? Let's make it a balmy 10,000 degrees. <laughs> it's going to be 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, boy. Okay. I think I accidentally turned the earth into a giant fireball. Oh my goodness gracious, that's bad. That's really bad. What's the likelihood of survival? It's, um, it's 0%. I don't even know why I had to check. I mean, <laughs> I don't think you could survive a 10,000 degree planet. Although for whatever reason, the average surface temperature is dropping. So maybe, you know... Maybe we just kind of put the earth in the oven. It was like Thanksgiving morning. We put the earth in the oven really quickly. Now it's coming back down to reality. Let's speed this up. What if it gets back to regular? Look at this. We're back down to 20 degrees Celsius. What's the chance of survival? Did it go up? Did it go up 88%? Okay, so apparently in real life, if you make earth 10,000 degrees... Everyone will just be fine. You just got to wait 10 years. Okay, it's time to blow up planet Earth. It's time to throw things at planet Earth at very fast speeds. So let's slow down the simulation. Let's move over here so we're actually in the sun. Let me start with a bowling ball. We're going to start small. Uh, no, I don't want to make the bowling ball rotate around planet Earth. So normally, if I go down, we're throwing this bowling ball at planet Earth at three kilometers per second. So that's, I mean, that's a pretty fast speed, but I want it to be a lot faster. I'm aiming for planet Earth. We're gonna throw a bowling ball at the Earth at, let's make it 10 kilometers per second. I feel like that's a pretty fast speed. So let's pause the simulation. Let's put this bowling ball right there. So we're looking right at the bowling ball. Now I can get out of the simulation. Wait, where did my bowling ball go? 
Where did my- Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, let's zoom in on the bowling ball. I want to see this in, like, slow motion. And let's hit play. That, did, did I make it too slow? <laughs> I think I slowed down the simulation too much. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Australia's in trouble, boys! <laughs> did- Did anything happen? Wait, hold on a silly second. Did anything happen? Okay, I just threw a bowling ball at Australia, and- and everybody's just fine. Everybody's fine. Wait, let's look at the likelihood of survival. Um, it's 99.3. I, I might have killed like eight people. I mean, come on. This is a load of barnacles. You know what? It is almost Halloween. So let's throw a jack-o-lantern. Ready, steady, go. Where? Where's my jack-o-lantern? Oh, there it is. There it is. Jack-o-lantern. It. My jack-o-lantern burned up in the atmosphere. It didn't even make it to Australia. You know what, Australia? I am going to blow you up by the end of this video if it's the last thing I do. What's this thing? A marble? You really want me to throw a marble at planet Earth? I mean, this is a load of barnacles. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. A great pyramid? Oh, now that could work. If this doesn't do damage, I don't know what will. It's a pyramid, for goodness sake. That was big. Oh, that was a big explosion. Oh, there's like shock waves. There were shock waves. Okay, wait, wait, let's go back to um, composition. Did anybody survive? Did anybody survive? 99.3. You're telling me I just threw a great pyramid at Australia and everybody's fine. They're like, ah, get out of here. It's made out of sand anyway. The Egyptians made that thing 5,000 years ago. Doesn't bother me. I could throw a darn watermelon. I mean, there's no way that's going to do anything. I'm launching nope. it, and it burned up in the Earth's atmosphere. This is just great. A long sword? Come on. Come on. What is this? A solar probe? Is that going to do anything? No. None of these are working. I'm saving the Tesla for the end. Oh, that did a little something. That did a little damage, but again, the likelihood of survival is still 99.3. I mean, this is just ridiculous, man. Okay, I just want to see if it's possible to blow up Earth. So you know what? I'm going to throw, let's see, um, let's do Mars. <laughs> I'm going to launch Mars at planet Earth and just see what happens. I mean, if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. And you know what? We're going to speed this bad boy up. Bam! Oh my. Okay, Mars works. Apparently Mars is a little bit bigger than a bowling ball. Who would have thought? And the likelihood of survival is zero. Okay, we're going to slow this down, but I want to try something extra crazy. We're going to throw Jupiter at planet Earth and see what happens. I mean, clearly it's not going to be good. I don't know what's going to happen, but it can't be good. I'm pretty sure Jupiter is like, I don't know, at least a hundred times the size of Earth. I could be wrong. I was never great at astronomy, although I really enjoyed astronomy. Okay, let's go to launch and let's let's select uh, Jupiter. Let's do this. Also, if you guys want to see more of this game, let me know in the comments what you want me to do next. I can blow up planet Earth. I can do all, I can make the sun bigger and eat up the entire solar system. I can even have universes or galaxies collide. So let me know what you want me to do. And bam! <gasps> Did that... Did I miss? It's going- I missed. I literally mi I mean, it's got to be really hard to have something as big as Jupiter and miss your target. I mean, it's literally, like I said, a hundred times bigger than Earth, and I somehow missed. That's so embarrassing. All right, you know what? I'm going to magically create another Jupiter. I can't believe I missed. That's so embarrassing. And it's just like sitting there floating away from planet Earth just to make me feel more bad about myself. All right, I'm going to aim for my house right about... There! <gasps> Did I- Don't tell me I missed again. Don't tell me I missed again. I missed again. I am gonna blow up planet Earth with Jupiter if it's the last thing I do by the end of this video. I'm also gonna use the Tesla too by the end of this video. There's a lot of things I have planned by the end of this video, by the way. Okay, maybe I'm too close? Is it possible that I'm too close and it's just spawning it behind planet Earth? Let's try to go back a little bit. Let's do... Ha! <laughs> I went behind it again. I've literally missed three times, guys. Wait, let's go back here. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. I think this one over here is going to miss, but I think this one's got a chance. Let's hit play. Uh, yes. Yes, this one's working. Okay. We are about to blow up planet Earth 
with Jupiter. Yes, this little tiny speck that looks like a marble is planet Earth where we all live. This is going to be incredible. Oh, this is going to be incredible. Could you imagine you look in the sky and all of a sudden you just see Jupiter flying at you? Like, what do you even do? Do you like at that point you just give up? Like, are, are you going to dig a hole? Are you going to just try to jump in a spaceship and fly away? Like, oh, this is going to be fantastic. Let's slow it down a little bit more. I want to see this in super slow motion. Oh my goodness. It's going to eat the entire planet. It's literally going to eat the entire planet for breakfast and it's still going to need. Oh no. Oh, no. I don't think planet Earth exists anymore. Let me try to select it. Uh, yeah, planet Earth is now a bunch of fragments. Oh, no. This is incredible. This is incredible. Oh, my gosh. Planet Earth is just gone. It, it doesn't even exist anymore. And the only thing left is this little tiny crater on the side of... Jupiter, this is crazy. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the moment I throw a Tesla car at planet Earth and see what happens. I mean, it can't be good, right? A Tesla's pretty big. I want to see my Tesla. There she is. Look at that beautiful red car. Wow. Okay, that's a beautiful car. Let's do this. It's not. It's about to not be a beautiful car because it is about to crash into Pennsylvania. Or sorry, Florida. Let's hit play. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. <laughs> Did it, did it not do anything? It didn't do anything, did it? Let's look at the likelihood of survival. 99.3. Literally didn't do anything. I hurled a Tesla at Florida and they were just like, get out of here. We're going to throw a Tesla at planet Earth at the speed of light. This is going to be incredible. Okay, I'm really going to... All right, so let's pause it. Let's go there. There's my red Tesla again. Elon Musk gave me a couple Teslas to test out, and I just decided to hurl them at planet Earth. Let's slow the simulation down as far as it goes. I want to be able to see this. I feel like the speed of light might be still too fast. All right, let's go here. Let's zoom in. Wow, look how slow the speed of light is when you slow the simulation down. This is awesome. Okay, if this doesn't cause mass extinction... I don't know what will. Keep in mind, this is moving the speed of light. I just really slowed it down. Let's go faster a little bit. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I think I missed Florida. I'm going for like Kentucky right now. Sorry, Kentucky. Whoa. Are you serious? Nothing happened? I just threw an electric vehicle going the speed of light and nothing happened. All right, let's make it a hundred times the speed of light. Speed of light. 100. I don't even think this is physically possible to happen in real life. I don't think anything in the world can travel 100 times the speed of light. I could be wrong. Let's go Tesla. Let's zoom out. Let's do this. Bam. It didn't do anything. It, it literally didn't do anything. 100 times the speed of light. Nothing. It doesn't even care. Well, you know what, planet Earth? I'm going to throw Mercury at you now. Yes, this is completely out of spite and completely because I'm angry at you for not reacting to my Tesla. So I'm throwing the entire planet of Mercury at you. And you know what? I'm aiming for Mexico this time. Why? Because I haven't aimed at Mexico yet. Here we go. Let's pause the simulation. Let's zoom out. Let's throw Mercury. Did I miss again? Did I somehow miss again? Oh, no. There's Mercury. Okay. Wow. Mercury kind of looks terrible. Mercury, do your best, my friend. A hundred times light speed. Oh, we're about to have impact. But oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I don't know what the likelihood of survival is right now, but something tells me it's not high. Let's go to planet Earth. Let's go to likelihood of survival and um, everybody's dead. And keep in mind, this is super slow motion. Planet Earth turned blue. So, so that's where we are right now, by the way. Planet Earth is now blue. Mercury is traveling 100 times the speed of light. Let's speed this simulation up a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't think that's the way planet Earth should look. No, no, no. I don't think planet Earth should look like a rock. And for whatever reason, Mercury is just stuck in Earth's butt cheeks. It, it is stuck there. You know what? Let's reset this one more time. I want to see this in real time. Bam. Okay. Okay, 
Apparently the speed of life is still fat or the speed of light is still fast enough to blow up the entire planet and turn it into a fiery ball of blueness. I'm still in love with this game, guys. Hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscriber button. Check out my vlogs, TFG vlogs. I release a new vlog every single week and I will see all of you in the next video. How can I blow up planet Earth next? <laughs>